everybody. We are back in the SO and we continue our Marker adventures. There's Gwendis over there that we need to go and talk to. Uh, it took me a little bit finding her because the marker wouldn't show up on the map and I was like at a loss. <laughs> so I had to go back to the previous video and uh, double check uh, how it all ended. Let's get on with it. There you are. That darkness Arana mentioned? I think we found it. Verandas has been studying that dark energy down in the library of Arkstand, trying to figure out what Radha al Saran and Lady Belain have planned. He thinks it might actually be related to the darkness. The void. Isn't that a terrifying thought? Uh, it would be if I understood the full spectrum of what it means. What is the void? Is it like the, the one that the Dreadfather lives in? Look, I'm no scholar. I barely believe in the stuff and I hardly understand it. But the void is the place outside the places. The darkness beyond Mundus and Oblivion. Anyway, Brandis felt a change in the currents. He sent me to get you. A Gosong clan witch attempted to awaken the Dark Heart. Aran and I stopped her. Well, that would explain it. You might have stopped it from fully awakening, but Veranda says something has changed. Even I could feel it. Come on. Verandas needs you to meet him at Night Hollow Keep. That's where he traced the dark energy to. Alright. Night Hollow Keep is down in Blackreach, east of the Library of Arxan. Verandas is there. He's waiting for you before he continues his search for the Dark Heart. Alright, thanks, Gwendas. Oh, it might be that cool place that I found when I was exploring the... Uh... I'll meet you down in Blackreach. Alright, bye. Um... It might be one of those, that, that cool looking place that I saw when I was exploring around the Black Reach area. And they mentioned that it's not Dwemer stuff. And I was curious what that was all about. So I guess we'll find out. Perfect timing, my friend. I think the Dark Heart is close by. I kind of missed him, didn't even see him there. The pockets of energy we discovered in the library of Arxan, they're even stronger here. The void energy permeates that ancient keep. I suspect the Dark Heart hides somewhere inside, and I fear that it's growing stronger. Your own sister sacrificed much of her own clan to attempt to awaken it. Whatever this Dark Heart is. Interesting. The Dark Heart hasn't fully awakened, but I did feel it stir. We need to find the Dark Heart, whatever it is, and prevent Radha and Belaine from using it. I thought it was a dwarven artifact, but then why was I drawn to Night Hollow Keep? What do you know about this place? I was curious earlier when I saw it. Very little, I'm afraid. The whole idea of a kingdom of ancient vampire clans hiding in the depths of Blackreach... Well, I thought it was nothing more than a legend. Let's explore the keep and see what we can learn while we try to find the Dark Heart. Let's go. Let's you and I split up and search the keep while Gwendis returns to Markarth. We know Lady Belaine has something in mind for the city, and one of us should be close at hand. Inside, look for personal items. I can use them to glean information. How will that help us? One of my talents involves auromancy magic. Certain inanimate objects, especially items that hold significant personal value, can become imbued with the auras of those who possess them. Sometimes I can read vague impressions. Sometimes more. Can these Night Hollow vampires be related to Radha? I don't see how. Radha al Saran was a Yakudan swordmaster before he came to Tamriel. His vampirism is a result of a meeting with Molag Bol. At least that's how I understand it. Lady Blaine, however, her origins are unknown to me. So is that why the search for this dark heart is leading us to this keep? A good question. We know that Rodda promises freedom to the Grey Host. He spent centuries bringing the various elements of his plan together. How the Night Hollow fit in, I can't say. At least not yet. Hopefully the answers await us in the Keep. Too much talking. This is such a cool place. Look at this. Look at the lighting. Um, I have shadows, uh, shadow effects from NVIDIA applied. So my game looks a little bit more like, has a higher contrast and a little bit more detail. I don't know if it's gonna translate into the video, so we'll see. So far, it looks cool.
There you are. See if you can find a personal object within this ancient study. All right, coffer, let's search it. Did you find something? Bring it here. I don't know, the game didn't show me. What did you find? My aura minds who works best on a personal possession, something with an emotional aura, or even an arcane residue clinging to it. Some sort of old insignia, will that work? Let me see. Hmm. I pity the stone is damaged, but it still retains a trace of magical aura. There are different ways to evoke echoes of the past. Objects that people wore or carried tend to collect and hold strong impressions. What does it signify? No, but it appears to be a pin or an emblem of some kind. The owner would have worn it on their clothing, close to their body. Good. Let's see if it has anything to show us. Keep your eyes open and observe. All right, Master. I will learn from you. A gift for me, my love. I have chosen. Tonight, you and Rain will drink from the Dark Heart. I have longed for this moment, my lady. Soon, you will be a lord of the Night Hollow Clan. One of my chosen. What the heck are you, Belaine? So Lady Belaine did belong to the Night Hollow Clan. Interesting. I sensed that Lady Belaine was ancient, but the vision confirms she was not only part of the Night Hollow Clan, she was their leader. The Dark Heart gets more interesting at every turn. How did they drink from it? For that matter, what did they drink? Uh, maybe some kind of a well? Or a fountain? Will any of that vision help us find this place, this Dark Heart? Yes, but we need more information. I can deduce that the Dark Heart is some sort of power source. That much is obvious. And it's tied to the void energy we encountered. Plus, the currents got stronger when Arana's sisters sacrificed their clanmates. I wonder why the vampires here are so different. They seem more crazed rather than intelligent beings. Feral? Yes, I noticed that too. Whether due to the long centuries of isolation or something more sinister, they are shadows of their former selves. Take the insignia with you and keep exploring. Now that it's charged, more memories may reveal themselves. How does that work? I cast Oromancy upon the insignia. The lingering magic may reveal additional scenes from the past as you explore these halls. Phantasms, really. Harbors. And keep watch for more void portals. As at Arctazan, they may help you navigate this place. Alright, I'll look around for these void portals and see if I can find my memories while I explore. Right. That is mildly confusing. Although I don't mind exploring this place, it looks so cool. Oh, there's someone in this. What the heck was that? The lane controls access to the dark heart. I grow tired of following her commands. is feet constant. Lady Relay. No! Death cannot claim the Night Hollow! Ah, this looks promising. A noble's chamber, I think. Take a look around. Have you found something I can cast my Auromancy upon? Yeah, another sigil. My explorations have turned out very little. But it looks like you've had better luck. What did you find? Got another insignia. See if it uh, can help you with your oromancy. Exactly what I was hoping for. I suspect the Night Hollow nobles wore these as a badge of rank. Let's see what we hmm. can learn with a little more oromancy. All right. This should be interesting. We broke through. The way to the Dark Heart is open. But the heart falters. 
Something is wrong. The damn dwarves. If they depleted its energy. Seal the dark halls. Until the heart recovers, only those who bear the sign of the inner circle may partake of its gifts. Okay. I think I understand what happened to the Night Hollow clan. I suspect Lady Belaine is the survivor of a long decline. While the rest of her clan slid into madness, she alone remained to carry on their legacy. Such a bitter pill for a proud vampire. What did we just observe? That memory comes from a later time. The Lord spoke of opening a way to the Dark Heart, which implies the Night Hollow lost access to it at some point. But what are these Dark Halls Lady Belaine spoke of? Where can we find them? Maybe they lead to the Dark Heart? That would be... That would make sense? Perhaps. Then maybe we have the key. Lady Belaine said that only those who bear the sign of the Inner Circle can utilize the Heart. That must refer to the insignias you found. Let's look for these Dark Halls. Okay, I'll look around. More than likely, the Dark Halls lie below us somewhere. See if you can find a way down while I attempt to trace the currents of void energy that radiate throughout this ruin. One of us should find a way through. Vampires, dwarves, rich witches... Who does the heart, Dark Heart really belong to? The best answer may be none of them. I suspect the Dark Heart may have been here before all of them. More than likely, they found it and made use of it. Across the ages, different people may have been drawn to its power. We may never know for sure. So how did the Rada f find out about it and got drawn to it? Perhaps. It's curious, isn't it? I wonder if the Dark Heart has a purpose of its own. And we better keep going. Until we actually find this thing, all we have, I guess, is... Could be a Daedric artifact of some sort. That would be cool. Elaine and her nobles, they keep the dark heart all for themselves. I think this is the entrance to the dark halls. As you can see, powerful magic wards at the door. Perhaps I can draw a memory from it. A dormant dark heart is of little use to us, Belaine. It can be awakened, but I need to get the help of the Reach Witches. Patience, Belaine. Not until I restore the Grey Host. Not until we unlock the Orrery. More delays. <sighs> Very well. But the Dark Heart must beat again, Radha al Saran. Nothing else matters. It seems Radha came here a long time ago. This is the most recent memory, but it's still centuries old. Oh, is it? Took, he took his sweet time considering all the stuff we've been through. Did you see? Rodda and Belaine made some sort of deal centuries ago, and now the conditions of that deal have almost been fulfilled. We can't let them fully awaken the Dark Heart. I didn't Nathari's sacrifice already awaken the Dark Heart. I've been thinking about what you told me. I believe the Ghost Song ritual primed the Dark Heart, opening a path between this world and the Void. The Void energy is stronger here, but it lacks direction. I fear they require greater sacrifice. How great. Something as powerful as the Dark Heart that's been asleep for millennia may stir from the taste of a few souls, but I suspect it needs a banquet to awaken fully. Perhaps if we hurry, it won't come to that. Yeah, that's exactly what I was wondering. If Lady Belaine said that she was ready to awaken the heart centuries ago, why did she wait until now? Because Rodder had not yet raised a new army. And he had other preparations to make, no doubt. Centuries don't matter much to immortal vampires. Now hold up the intact insignia. Let's see if we're right and it grants us access to the Dark Holes. Okay. Oh, look at that, it did. 
Let's go see what this whole thing is about. A tunnel? The Night Hollow left the Dark Heart where they found it, instead of bringing it to their keep. Strange. Hold. Someone left these belongings here. They may have a story to tell. Maybe. A well-made weapon, placed with care. Let me try my Oromancy. Oh, more visions. That should be interesting. Lane, we're dying. There's nothing you can do. I refuse to accept that, Idrisen. But one of us must remain strong to save the others. I will take the remaining energy from the Dark Heart. It will sustain me until I determine how to make it beat again. No, Belaine. You know blood no longer sustains us. If you take the last of the Heart's energy, the rest of us will starve. Huh. How horrible. The Dark Heart gave the Night Hollow unbelievable power. But they were dependent on it. They lost the ability to draw sustenance from blood. As the Dark Heart slowed and fell into slumber, they became... diminished. Except for Belaine. It appears that Lady Belaine took the last of the Void Energy for herself, enough to saturate her and keep her strong through all these long centuries, while the clan around her starved and turned feral. Why can't they just go back to feeding on blood, just like other vampires. Apparently not. Feeding on void energy changed them. They lost the ability to take nourishment from the blood of mortals. I suspect Lady Belaine believes that her clan will recover once the Dark Heart begins to beat again. And she's probably correct. What if she isn't and they just kind of remain feral? Dark Heart Chamber. Oh, we're about to find out what the heck it is. I'm really keen to know. Probably some kind of Dwemer device. Oh. Can you feel the void energy? That's the Dark Heart. Oh. Oh. The Dark Heart must be fed. I will see the Mark Heart. Rada, no. You must not awaken the Dark Heart. I stopped heeding your advice a long, long time ago, Verandis. Idrisen! Slay these meddlers! Deal with Lady Belaine's minions. I'll try to stop Rada. Fulfilling an oath and saving my brethren. Our brethren. This is the way it must be. Lady Belaine, you will understand. I failed you in time. Okay. Is that Rada over there? What the heck is this thing? Seriously. It looks cool and all, but... Uh, I don't understand. Go to Verandas. Hey Verandas, what you doing? The Dark Heart awakens! I can't stop it! Feed, you heart of darkness! Feed on the souls of Markar, and soon my brethren will be free! Those souls... Oh God. The people of Markar... Rada... What have you done? More importantly, why does Rada need it in the first place? I don't understand. The Dark Heart... The peace of the primal void trapped in our world. 
No wonder it warps the very weave of existence all around it. Look up. We're directly beneath the library of Arkzang. The Dark Heart, it powers the orrery. But to what end? What did Rada mean when... What did Rada mean, feed on the souls of Markarth? The Dark Heart feeds on death. You saw that when the Ghost Song clan was sacrificed. Only he's offering the heart a much larger feast. All the Reach folk in Markarth. He sent Lady Belaine there to finish what has undoubtedly already begun. And Art Caddock called all the clans to take shelter in the city, so they are all like, uh, all trapped in there. Correct. As part of Lady Belaine's peace with the Grey Host. Just another horrible deception. Let's get out of this place. There may still be a way to save the people of Markarth. Alright, I'll meet you outside. That lift over there should take us to the library grounds. Hurry! <laughs> 